Welcome to Kingwood City, a city full of crime and evil masterminds. But a lone hero from the deepest woods to roam the city to clean out this villainy. During the day, he's Guy Bratman, millionaire extraordinaire. But when the day turns into night, he puts on hood and mask and he becomes Moose Man. Now together with his new sidekick, Forrest. This undynamic duo are about to set out on the greatest adventure yet. These are the adventures of Moose Man and Forrest. Moose Man! Just you wait until we get our hands on all that wonderful money. Yeah, I can't wait. Let's remove the glass so we can get down. But what if we get caught? Don't worry. Everything's been timed and ready to the slightest detail. Uh, that's Superman. No! That's Moose Man! Ha ha, you crooks! Have a rendezvous with my fists! <laughs> Welcome, sir, Faust. Thank you, Jeeves, you old cod. Sir, may I ask what is on your agenda here today? I am seeking Bratman. Die, Bratman. Why? I just finished superhero school, top of my class, and now I am seeking out my childhood friend, and I want to join forces with him against evil. Shh. I think he's out on the balcony, entertaining some lady. Thank you, Jeeves. Oh, sir, he shouldn't be bothered. Look at the view, my dear. It's like you. Lovely. Oh, Mr. Bratman. Guy, I see you haven't changed a bit. Still using the old one-liners, eh? Forrest, I haven't seen you since elementary school. Guy, and who is this lovely bird? This is Miss Fine. Well, of course she is. Pleasure. I guess you boys have lots of catching up to do. I'll see you later. Why have you come after all these years, my friend? I know your secret. What secret? You don't fool me. You told me when we were both kids. What do you mean? You told me about the mighty moose that lived in the forest your father used to own. You told me that it was your highest wish to become that moose and fight for justice. You are Moose Man. Shh. 
I am Moose Man. But why have you come here to tell me this? I just finished superhero school, top of the class, and I want to join forces with you against evil. I work alone, my friend. But every superhero has a sidekick guy. Please. Okay. But how much do you hate criminals and masterminds? A lot. Okay, you're in. Look. The moose signal. Forrest, it's time for you to prove your worth. Come on. security prison on Crook Island. Holy Houdini! Which horrific law-breaking crook is it? His name is Dr. Cock. He moved to Kingwood City 20 years ago from East Germany where he had been a distinguished sex change surgeon. The doctor got obsessed by Cox and started to dress up and act like one. Holy fella creature! The doctor was declared insane and put in prison on an undetermined sentence time. Apart from that, the only thing we know is that he's unable to sleep after 7 in the morning because of a serious sleeping disorder. Hello? Yes? Yes? Oh my god! What's wrong, Chief? Someone is breaking into the battery factory! Are we going there, Moose Man? Does a moose shit in the woods? Yes, they do! Good luck, boys! Destination. In about five minutes, 
The train will come and mush you! Damn you, cock! Damn you to hell! Now this is about the time where I reveal my master plan! But I won't! Cackly goo! However, I will give you two clues! The first is, what doesn't fly will fly! And the second, the maker of ear cleansing tops will go bankrupt! Do you call that clues? It's too hard, cock! Stop with these foolish games and tell us your fiendish plans! Never! I will leave you to your fate, boys! Cockily goo! No, Forrest! We must do two things! First, solve the clues, and then escape! But, Moose Man, shouldn't we escape first and deal with the clues later? I am the king of the forest, and we do as I say. Of course, Moose Man. He said, what doesn't fly, will fly. What do you make of it? I don't know. A cock doesn't fly. No? Perhaps he's going to fly somewhere. Perhaps. But what about the second clue? He said that the makers of ear cleansing tops would go bankrupt. What does that mean? I don't know. Holy twinkle toes! I got it! He is planning to build a gigantic cock clock and letting it orbit around Earth. Then, every morning at precisely seven o'clock, the clock will ring, making everybody in Kingwood City wake up. There will be no more sleeping in late, Moose Man. Good God, Forrest! You are right! Everything points to it. The chief told us about cock sleeping disorder. He wants everyone to feel the way he feels. And we now know why he broke into the battery factory. Of course he wanted batteries for the clock. And the clues he gave us filled up the blanks. He of course is going to fly like no other cock has done before him. In that rocket of his, um... It is now obvious. Because people want to sleep and not hear the clock, they will stop using ear cleansing tops to clean their ears in order to let the wax serve as a natural ear plug. Um. The train is getting closer, Moose Man. Perhaps we have reached the end of the line. Are Moose Man and Forest doomed? What has the cock cocked up? Don't miss out on the next episode of the adventures of Moose Man and Forest.